Praying at night washes away the sins that you commit, that you committed during the day. And one of the signs of true love is to sacrifice some sleep and speak to Allah. Have you ever seen people who are engaged? Have you seen people who are, you know, they're, they're engaged, they're getting to know each other. When do they spend the bulk of their time talking? You know, especially if you have a sibling, may Allah give you patience. You know, you have a sibling who's engaged. They're on the phone at night. They cannot go to sleep unless they make that call and they chat. Why do they do that? Because they're in love. Because the night is when the lovers chat. This is why Allah says to Musa, Ya Musa, kathaba man za'ama annahu yuhibbuni. Oh Musa, the one who claims to love me is a liar. Why? فَإِذَا جَنَّهُ اللَّيْلِ نَا مَعَنِّي Because when night comes, he goes to sleep. He forgets about me. In the month of Ramadan, let's try to develop this habit. I'm not saying go from today, Salatul Layl, 11 rak'ah. Just do wudu, do two rak'ah and then go to sleep. Train yourself. You know, there was, there's a beautiful story about Sheikh Ja'far Kashif al Ghita. He's one of the great scholars of Najaf. Sheikh Ja'far Kashif al Ghita, he was living in Najaf, he was a scholar. And he had a teenage son. You know, this is advice for parents. You know, you're not the only ones that have teenagers. Even our maraja, our ulama, they also have teenage children. How do they deal with them? Sheikh Ja'far Kashif al Ghita, it's winter time. And for those of you who've been to Najaf in the winter, you know how cold those nights are. It's about 3 a.m. and it's the, the time of Fajr is approaching. It's about an hour before Salat al-Fajr. Sheikh Ja'far goes and he wakes up and he goes to his son's room, about 15 years old. He wakes up his son, he says, Oh my son, Ya Bunay Qum, let us go to the Haram of Amir al muminin Let's do Salat al-Layl, let's recite some Munajat and pray Fajr there and then come back there. When you're 15 years old, how do you sleep? You sleep like Ashab al Kahf when you're 15 years old, deep sleeper. Sheikh Ja'far tries to wake up his son. His son is reluctant. He tells his father that, Oh, my father, you, you get, I'll meet you there. <laughs> I'll meet you there. Sheikh Ja'far, of course, you know, you can't fool a Najafi. He says, I'll wait for you. I'm not going anywhere. He says, it's going to take me some time to get ready. He says, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for you to get ready. He waits for his son to get dressed, to do wudu. Together, they leave their house in the middle of the night, about an hour before Fajr. And they're walking through the alleyways of Najaf. Sheikh Ja'far is walking, he's looking at his son, freezing. His son dragging his feet, reluctantly going to the haram, probably mumbling under his breath, probably wishing his dad wasn't a scholar. He goes. Sheikh Ja'far notices that his son is bothered. He didn't want to wake up. They reach the gate. May Allah give us all the tawfiq to go to the haram of Amir al muminin They reach the gate and they see a beggar. Someone sitting at the gate begging. Sheikh Ja'far Kashif al Ghita, he takes advantage of a teachable moment. He looks at his son. He says, Oh, my son, what is this man doing? What is this? He tells his father that, oh my father, this is a man, he's begging. He's poor. The shaykh asks his son, how much do you think he's going to make this morning? How much do you think he's going to get? 
The son says, I don't know. He's not going to get a significant amount of money, something very trivial, a very minute amount of wealth, few dirhams maybe. Sheikh Ja'far Kashif al Ghita, he says, Oh my son, do not be less ambitious than this beggar. This beggar, he woke up in the middle of the night. He left his bed. He left his family. He walked through the alleyways of Najaf in this bitter cold. He's sitting on the cold ground for hours extending his hand because maybe, it's not guaranteed, maybe someone will give him something. Oh my son, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guaranteed that those who rise up to speak to him in the middle of the night, it's not a maybe, it's a guarantee that he will give them something beyond their imagination. What does Allah say? فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَّةِ أَعْيُنٍ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ This beggar, the possibility of getting a small amount of dunya was enough to motivate him. Why don't you rise up and go towards that which Allah has guaranteed you? The hadith from the Holy Prophet says, Inna salat al mu'min fil layl, praying at night, tudhibu ma amila bin nahari min al sayyati wa dhunu, praying at night washes away the sins that you commit, that you committed during the day.